car contained two cases of beer, no problem there. But then they found 8,000 Cuban cigars. That is illegal. The driver was arrested. Officer Diaz, do you search every car that passes through? No, that would be impossible. Thousands of cars drive through every day. So how do you know which cars to stop? Well, we often have inside information, but this time I had a feeling. Just a feeling? Well, maybe a little more than that. You see a guy by himself, he doesn't look like a businessman, it's the middle of the week, and you think, what is he up to? That's it? No, then we ask a few simple questions. We watch their body language, and you can usually tell if they're lying. You can see it in their eyes? Well, not in the eyes, because they don't usually look at you. They often hide their hands, too. But there are other signs. Have you ever noticed the way people sometimes touch their face a lot when they are lying? So, just by looking at them, you can... No, you have to listen, too. To begin with, they often say very little, just the minimum. Just, morning, officer, or afternoon, sir. They don't give you precise information, like names of places. And then they sometimes start saying too much, saying any old thing to fill the silence. I've read somewhere that liars usually use more negative verbs. Have you found this? Yes, that's right. Also, their voice often goes up. Uh, no, not much. And they sound scared. Does anyone ever get past you? Oh, yeah. We've caught hundreds of little guys, but we hardly ever catch the big ones, the real professionals. Rob Diaz, thank you very much. With contraband Cuban cigar smuggling increasing, customs officers clearly have a difficult job on their hands.